Welcome to part two of the Roman bath tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. So last time we had just gotten to the cornice inside some of the interior rooms and for the rest of the building we're going to be doing, um, we don't have a lot of height to add left to the building, but we do have a lot of detail. We're going to be adding all the vaults and all the roofing today. So we got, we got quite a bit to do. So let's get started. Uh, where, where was I starting? I think I was starting about here. Right here. So let's uh, pan around the exterior. We're adding just a, a bit of a diorite. There, note the blocks in the corners. And then a bit of tough there as well. More stone bricks and diorite on the side here. Capping off our windows with that uh, diorite there. capping off the windows at the back on the apse as well. On both apses, once you do one of them, the other's exactly the same. Capping off the two large side windows. Alright, that's the exterior. Now let's take a look at the inside of the Epodaterium. Pretty simple detailing, really, at this phase. I like to put torches up here because when you're looking at it from down below, you can't really see them. Helps light up the, uh, the barrel vault we have in here. All right, and here inside the latrina. Just a bit of quartz ore, and otherwise it's all uh, obsidian. Or black stone, if you prefer. Or even uh, deep slate tiles, just some block that's really black. For that, depending on what you went with. All right, now in the tepidarium. Just some simple detailing. A bit of quartz there and a lot of obsidian. All right, now moving through the doorway here into the caldarium. Same sort of detailing, just in a smaller room. All right, now moving into the Frigidarium. Same detailing in an even smaller room. I think like all four faces of this room are pretty much the same on that level. Uh, now here. Same sort of detailing. All right, and we will move on to the next phase. So we're beginning at the exterior here. We've got some some uh, uh, barrel vaulted windows we have along here. Note the alternating full blocks and panes up here, like we do. So let's continue on around the exterior.
just a bunch of cobblestone back here on top of the apses. Like so, on top of both of the apses. And then the tops of these windows here. We just have some basic framing for Roman windows. You didn't get uh, a fine carved tracery until later in the medieval period. All right, now inside. Same sort of detailing, they're just going up a level. This is the lowermost portions of the barrel vaults in here that we're going to be building. And in here as well, to show you the, the quick top down on that one, you're just stacking everything pretty much straight up, except on the ends here. We're adding a bit more quartz ore. And in here we've got some prismarine. Dark prismarine back there on the apps. Not too complicated just yet. And here we've got the red nether brick. And then in here we've got our blue coral blocks. Uh, you have to remember back here to, to knock out the cobble that's behind here and then place down your water back there so it won't, uh, so it won't die. There's enough space on the, the sides for you to be able to do that. There's none on the window, but there's enough back here. Right there, just remove the cobble directly behind it and put down some water. All right, uh, detailing in here for the quartz. Well, it looks like there's a little bit extra back here, a little spillover. You don't need to build uh, that that back there. You can fill that in with cobble. And then the window at the front here. And, oh, it looks like some of the glass is doubled up there. I wonder. That would have been copied from over there, but the frame is one block set back. Well, that's okay. A little bit of extra glass. Nobody will notice. Uh, so back here, next uh, next detailing right over our doorway. So scan around the exterior, build that first, and then our interior space. All right, and uh, the, the back is simple. We're just going to skip over that. It's just cobble straight up on top of the previous cobble that you placed. Just straight on top all along the back. All right, now let's go inside and take a look at it from the interior.
All right, and in here we have uh, our barrel vault. We've got a very small barrel vault, so we're starting to lean everything over a block on the sides here. And once you do one of those there, the other two are just the same. All right. Now in this room. Got a bit of prismarine detailing. Note the overhanging block of quartz here. That's the lowermost portion of what's going to be our rib vaulting. Or our groin vaults. Technically, the Romans didn't have rib vaulting. They would have used groin vaulting in here. But the rib vaulting just makes a... It's... it's um, how shall I say? Uh, it's the same, except the uh, vaulting is just a, a little bit more exaggerated and more three-dimensional with rib vaulting instead of a groin vault. But it's the same basic shape. Uh, because I think um, uh, the ribs would have appeared in, like, painting on the vault before they built it in, in stone later on in the more medieval period. It's, that's pretty common actually in, in Roman buildings. You would find like on the walls of houses, things would be painted on the walls uh, before they actually built them. It's like they were working out their ideas on their wall paintings and then later on they would say, why don't we just build that? Pretty interesting. Uh, most of those uh, actually tended to be backdrops for uh, theaters, actually. Very theatrical sort of architecture is what they would do first, and then after they had looked at it for a while, they thought, well, that kind of looks, you know, that looks pretty normal. Let's just, let's just build that. Uh, so uh, next room in here, note, note, the, note the blocks of quartz we have overhanging in all these little sections, by the way. All right, uh, next room in here, mostly lapis, just a bit of coral. So you only have to knock out uh, one block behind those to put down your water. All right, and then our last room, just simple quartz in here, quartz and obsidian. A bit of chiseled here and there. It looks like there is still, there's, there's extra back here. You can fill in those eight blocks with cobble. All right, let's go on to the next phase here, starting right above the door. A bit more glass in our windows. A couple of phases will be done with the glass, though. I guess those windows ended up being double thick. Down here, note the overhanging blocks of diorite we have in the corners here. We're forming the lowermost portions of the arches uh, in the building that will cap off our windows. All right, on the back here, pretty easy. Right on top of that cobble, put down a layer of stone bricks on top of both of the apses, just straight on top.
All right, and now from the inside, note the overhanging courts we have in the corners here. More arches. I believe in this first room we have um, is where we have the barrel vault. Right here in the apodaterium. We're capping our arches off here with just a bit of quartz, just like so. Easier to show you from the bottom, I think. And the next phase, we're going to be capping that room off entirely. All right, uh, now in the tepidarium. Note the overhanging quartz in the corners here. Back from here on out, we're going to have uh, nothing but overhanging quartz. Uh, also note the overhanging um, prismarine we have back here, and the half dome on top of our apse. Simple detailing here along the walls. Then we'll move into the Caldarium. Note the overhanging blocks back here for the half dome. The shape of this half dome is exactly the same as the one you're building over there. You're just using different materials. All right, now the Frigidarium. Remember to remove the cobble behind the coral blocks and place your water. All right. Now, in our last room here, we have just a simple barrel vault. All right, next phase. Starting above our doorway, a bit more glass. We're capping off this arch here. And these little side arches here as well. Not the big ones, though. They got a few more blocks on those. And on the back here, right on top of the apses, we've got just a band of diorite right on top of both of those, and then cobble along the flat walls. Capping off these three little arches here. And now let's take a look inside.
All right, and then here is the top. Looks like there's a little extra red nether brick. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's the that's going to be our first set of roof tiles. Actually, there's a big valley right here where the roof uh, cuts down as close as I could get it in here. I tried to put the roof on very tight on this building, so we're going to have to be building the uh, rib vaulting and the roof at the same time. And here's the first little bit of roof tiles for that. Just like so. And let's land and take a look at what that looks like from the interior. You can see we're just continuing the pattern and capping off our barrel vault just like so. And that will be uh, your, your uh, latrina will be finished after you have done that. You can relieve yourself if necessary and we will continue on into the next room. Uh, note the overhanging quartz here. This is our first little bit of overhanging rib vault that we have down there and the other quartz over here. That's just our side arches to support the whole thing. All right, note the overhanging blocks here for the half dome. Like so, now the next room. All right, and the next room after that. And the next room after that one, our final room. Alright, let's move on to the next phase. Still got a ways to go. Uh, but we are going to finish that in uh, the, the whole building in today's part. This is just going to be a two-parter. A long two-parter, but you know. Two parts is what I budgeted for this, so we're going to have to make it fit. Uh, here at the front, we've got a bit of overhanging uh, cornice. Upside down stone bricks. Right there. Behind that, you can see that uh, valley I talked about. Well, we'll take a look at that um, when we start looking at the interior space. We're just going to keep scanning around uh, the edge, and then we'll take a look at the more middle parts. So back here, we've got a bit of cornice again, upside down stone brick stairs. And behind that here, you can see we've got a run of red nether brick that you're going to want to place down. It's part of our roof tiles already coming into view. Bit of upside down stairs there. And I actually think this is going to be the last of the glass that we have to place in our window. So we do have a cornice on the back here, so I think I'll show you that from below. Uh, note here, when you get to this position, the stairs cha uh, change the way that they're facing. Right there, and then they do it again right here. And then that pattern just repeats again for the second apse. Right there. And 
And then I think uh, I think this right here is actually going to be the last bit of glass we have to place in the bath. Uh, note the upside down stone brick cornice starting here again. And then over here again we have more roof tiles with the red nether brick. Right there. So, uh, starting again with the Apodatarium. Building the barrel vault in here. Overhanging all the blocks now. Uh, our latrina room is complete, but the exterior, of course, we have to build the roof on top of that now. Let me just pause here, show you that from top down, as tight in as I can get it, like so. And then, oh, wrong button. And then let's take a look here at that, uh, starting up here and more from this angle here, because we have to put in our full blocks of our red nether brick and then our deep slate tiles on top of that. My preferred Roman roof pattern, just a simple checkerboard pattern, except we have to uh, angle them all up. Of course, we do have some cobblestone uh, ridge line dividers there. And along the center here as well. And our little valley we're going to have to have on our roof here. Uh, Alright, now let's continue on with the, the Tepidarium. Uh, note all the overhanging courts again we have in here. We're building out our arches and our rib vaulting. And also with the bits of prismarine, um, the, the uh, fill of the groin vault. All right, and then back here for our half dome. All right, now moving into the Caldarium. Same detailing for the half dome, just different materials. Now moving into the Frigidarium. And now into the Laconium. Our final room, where we slobber ourselves down with olive oil and then scrape it off with the strigil. Thus completing our Roman bathing experience. I think uh, just getting to uh, lounge around in these rooms and look at the room around you is probably probably the most important. Well, it's, it's what I would enjoy the most, I suppose. And that's probably all I would go to the baths to do. Um, so here, next phase. Finishing off the exterior details. Note, uh, note the half slabs we have around here. We'll take a look at the roof valley um, when we start looking at the interior. Again, we're just going to scan around the perimeter of the building, and we want to build that first, and that'll help us uh, with the rest of it. Uh, note all the note all the half slabs here as we go. We're really going to point them out. A couple of roof tiles here, though. 
cobblestone half slabs, deep slate tile half slabs, and all the full blocks are the red nether brick. And a couple back there as well. Uh, do note that we have a couple of cobblestone slabs here, by the way. And back here we have a bit more roof. Cobblestone half slabs and a little U-shape. Right there. I think uh, we're going to go, we're gonna have to start slowing down, I think. There's a lot of detail work now that we're building both the roof and the vaulting at the same time. So it's, there's a lot of fiddly detail we have to make sure that we take a look at as we go. So here you do want to be placing all this red nether brick. We have the exterior and the interior sort of colliding now. We've got uh, um, cobblestone half slabs there and then the red nether brick. Like so, it's going to be a difficult phase. So let's slow right on down. Uh, a bit more of a, a roof tiling back there coming into view. Note the cobblestone half slabbing. Uh, again here, stone brick and cobblestone half slabs. And capping off the arch here, well, of the, the window arch with the diorite. So we're done with the glass for this build. Bit of detailing there. And uh, more detailing here. Couple of roof tiles back in here. And more uh, cobblestone half slabs and roof tiling. Uh, this is one of those phases I would go really, really slow. And uh, once you get the first uh, uh, edges of the roof tiling in place, it's going to help a lot with the rest of it. So if you make a mistake now, it's going to compound later. So you want to make sure that you do your best to get all the detailing right on this particular level and that'll set us up for success uh, for the rest of the tutorial. I think we can actually see the we can may, the, the end might be in sight over there just barely. We still got quite a ways to go though. Uh, so in here a detailing for the barrel vault for the apodatarium We've got uh, double overhanging quartz now. I think it's be easier to show you that from below at this point. Of course, uh, both sides are the same of this. Just like that there. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, the roof tiling over the latrina. Take a look at uh, this section here facing the apodatarium along the roof uh, ridge line that we already laid down. So you can see here the roof tiling, if you've done any of my other Roman tutorials, it's all exactly the same. Uh, if this is your first one, though, you know, uh, you can see here we're just doing a simple checkerboard pattern. Just like that there. And then, of course, fill in all the void behind that there, which is straight cobblestone. Right here, we have a bit of an awkward section here because the... Uh, uh, the baths are non-symmetrical, depending on where you put the center line. So you do want to put this extra red nether brick back here. And we've got an odd assemblage of half slabs and full blocks here of cobble as well. Like that. And then uh, facing back over there to the laconium, we've got the roof tiling on the other side of the latrina. All right, now here into the, the tepid arium. I think uh, we're going to take a look at this one from the top and then from the bottom. 
because our rib vaulting is almost getting ready to, to, to touch, which is, it's going to do in the next phase. Take a look here at our little half dome. We're going to be finishing that in the uh, next phase as well. All right, and now let's land and take a look at uh, what that looks like from below. Here you can see our, our ribs are getting ready to, to meet here in the middle in, a little, um, in an X shape. Just like so. And now let's, uh, oh, nope, we, we, we don't want to bathe. We want to, we want to build. Uh, so now moving into the Caldarium, of course, we've got another rib vault that we're building in here, as well as the other, the other half dome. Take a look at that from above. All right, and in the middle here, we do have some, some more roof tiling, which we're going to have to build there. That's just a couple of blocks away. You want to count from that point there. Uh, all right, now uh, the frigid arium. Another, um, another rib vault, of course. And indeed, all four sections of this are basically the same to each other. There's only maybe a little difference over there by the window. Actually, no, it is pretty much symmetrical to the window now. Uh, and now here in the Laconium, of course, we're building another barrel vault. Just like that there. All right. Next phase, another complicated phase. We're going to be connecting our rib bolts in this one, and then on the next phase after that, we'll be capping off the interiors of our rooms. Uh, it looks like on this, I didn't go back and I left some void space above these that you probably want to fill in with. We'll, we'll probably want to fill in with cobble back here. Uh, but uh, we'll start right here and scan around the uh, exterior. We're capping off these arches. Right here over our windows that we've been building since we started today. And uh, note, we have, of course, the, uh, the half slabs going up at a, this particular angle right here. Just like so. And then back behind here, we have uh, more, more roof tiling. Which we're going to be doing this roof tiling for the rest of the tutorial, so. Simple pattern. Like I said, once you get the first layer of it here, you can kind of see where the rest of it's going to go. Without too much trouble. Uh, we do have back in here, we have a little uh, awkward little valley. Back in here, you can see we've got the roof tiling and then some void spaces back here where you can you can fill this in all of this in here with cobble which I didn't do in between here on the um just just to fill in your roof you don't want anything spawning in your in your vaulting so like that there and then we've got a bit detailing there and back over here of course A bit of an awkward phase. We're going to be trying to take a look at the the uh, well. We're going to have to look at the vaulting and the roof kind of at the same time. So I'm going to try and cover that as much as I can. We're going to try and do the perimeter roofing here and then the interior uh, later. A bit of a messy section here. It's just kind of how you know. This is how it works. 
for these Roman bath roofs. They're, they're really complicated. It's probably one of the more complicated roof designs I've had to do just to get it as fit as, uh, as tight as I could to the vaulting below. You can see there's just, there's not a lot of space uh, that went unused. And then back here, finishing off that section. And then the roof tiling back here as well. Now this one, because I used uh, red nether brick for the caldari, I mean, it kind of uh, collides into itself in there, so. Uh, now also we're building, uh, we're finishing off our half domes below and the, the roof just directly on top of that. Which for the roof of this, I didn't do a dome roof, I did more of a, uh, a flatter uh, fan type of roof on top of that because it, it fit with the rest of the roof heights and everything, it's just how it had to be. Now the messy section here as the roof uh, ridge lines kind of collide down, you can kind of see how I used the rib vaulting below and the cobblestone radiating off of that as uh, as the cue for where I put the, uh, the 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 ridge dividers on top of the roof. Yeah, bu buildings like this is why people, some people dread putting, putting roofs on things they build in Minecraft because if you make it uh, complicated, you know, like this is, um, it, it, it kind of needs a certain amount of building experience to be able to to pull it off, and some people are just a little bit too daunted by it. Uh, but I've done all the hard work for you in the tutorial here, so you don't have to think about it. You just need to build it. Another awkward little roof section right down here. And then a more regular section up here at the front. The barrel vaults are easy to roof over like that. It's only when we get to the rib vaulting that things get complicated. Oh. All right, now that was just the exterior. So let's, uh, let's tuck inside here and take a look, I think, from below at the detailing for the epidaterium. Like so, simple detailing for our barrel vault. And now uh, let's start from below and take a look here. And the tepidarium. You can see we're connecting our rib vaults together now, just a, a big quartz X, except we're also, we have to do that in three dimensions to also follow the shape of the arch as we go. So let's take a look at that from back up. Let's take a look at that from the top down. Right there, and then a more um, more orthogonal view. All right, uh, now let's back up over here, take a look at the roof tiling right here over the epidaterium. Pretty simple. And it just stops at this wall here. And then we've got this little awkward section right here. And then another really awkward section over here.
All right, uh, where do we go next? Let's uh, let's go right along our straight cobblestone ridge line we've got going on here, and now we have a little roof valley where we have all of these uh, rib vaults meeting. But as you can see, we've got two rib vaults over here, but these two over here, they've got a big uh, arched uh, divider in the room. So that means our um, our roof uh, valley here got got really messy. But this section here, we're going to take a look at this facing first the um, uh, the, the uh, tepidarium here, right here. And I think uh, we already took a look at that section when we looked at the perimeter. So now let's take a look. I think, uh, what, we need to take a look uh, to finish off our little half dome right here. The detailing for that. And now let's head into the Caldarium, take a look at that from below. And finishing off that half dome interior there. And take a look at that now from above. Which, I mean, there's so much red nether brick here, I don't know how useful that's going to be. Let's take a look at it closer in. Kind of pan over it and tie it into the roof sections that we're trying to do at the same time. All right, now here, this little cobblestone line is the divider between Caldarium and the Frigidarium. So let's take a look at the uh, roof section here. And then we've got a little piece. Well, we took a look at that already. And then we've got the top of the Frigidarium here. Let's take a look at that from below. I think will be more useful. Right there, I've got just a couple of bits of... Um, of uh, blue coral, tube coral, whatever that's called, I don't remember. Uh, you, you're gonna probably wanna wait to place these blocks, put some placeholder blocks there because we're gonna have to put water on top of that, otherwise it'll die. So we're gonna have to uh, maybe do that, uh, try and figure that out in the next phase. Uh, in here, we've got the top of the laconium. The rib vaulting there. Let's take a first. Let's take a look first here at the roof tiling for that. Pretty simple pattern. Uh, and then from the interior here. All right. Uh, for this phase, let me get some altitude, and I don't know how useful it'll be, but let's take us try to take a look at the entire sequence of the building here as tight in as I can get it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty complicated phase. Usually I like to cap off my vaulting entirely and then start the roof. But uh, for, for the bathhouse here, it really didn't, it didn't work that way. We had to get it just as tight in as we could. Uh, which is how the Romans would have built it. They wouldn't have had a big, heavy, uh, mass of masonry and then the roof vaulting that would have fallen straight down all right so here let's start again with the uh, the next phase in about the same place we've been starting and scan around the interior right here so this is an important phase we're going to actually be capping off all of the interior spaces on this phase and then we will have um what one two three i, I don't know a, a couple more phases, four, five, six phases until we get to the end. And we're kind of, we're, we're getting into the home stretch, I think. All right, so uh, same sort of detailing here for the exterior. You can kind of see we've just got a repeating pattern being extended up to form a little triangular uh, thing there. Just like so. Building both of those the same. 
Uh, and then we're immediately back into the roof tiling. Back here. Uh, in fact, as we go, let's put a little marker down right here and go ahead and take a look at what's going to be the interior of the uh, Laconium. So you can see here we've just got the simple roof pattern being extended straight up right over the top of the dome, uh, or, or rather the, the barrel vault, right there. Let's uh, go in reverse order for this and land and take a look at that. So here is our finished interior of the Laconium. You've just got these slabs to place in the top of the barrel vaults there, corresponding to this on the exterior right there, and that's going to be that interior space finished. Uh, now let's pick up our bookmark and continue around here. So we've got uh, on top of the, the Frigidarium here some more roof tiling, just like so. And then this back over here. And then behind that we've got even more roof tiling. And I should check. Did I leave a space? Yeah. Okay. So um, we're gonna we are gonna have a space here for the water blocks that we're gonna need for that. I hope I left enough space for that. We'll have to see. I may not have. We might have to do a material change on that. I don't think I accounted for that. Hold off placing the um, the coral up here. That 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 may not work. It'll work on the side walls with the place in the water, but we might have to opt for something else. We might have to just put in straight lapis or uh, maybe some blue glazed terracotta up there instead of the instead of the coral. Of course, I'm just using a wool block here, so it's uh, it's fine, but you know. But if you're actually doing this in survival, we might have to make a change on that. Uh, so here detailing for the next section of the roof valley over the Frigidarium and this portion of the roof valley over the uh, Caldarium. Same exterior detailing right back here. Uh, next portion of the roof tiling over the Caldarium. Alright, uh, this part of the roof valley between the two apses. The roof over the apse of the Tepidarium. A portion of the back roof valley over the Tepidarium. Same detailing for, for that there. Now let's take a look at the, the roof valley in the Tepidarium here. It's kind of messy to get started, but once you do get started, you can kind of see where the pattern is going to be heading. Alright, uh, now uh, this last bit of exterior roof valley on the Tepidarium. And then the regular pattern of the roof tiling over the uh, Apodaterium. And you can see here, just like we did for the Laconium over there, we're finishing off, capping off the barrel vault here inside of the um, Epodaterium as well. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Just like so. Capping off that there. And then let's walk around inside here. Because you can see where we are capping off 
the interior of our revolting here inside the tepidarium, just like that there with this pattern here. And then we are not bathing, we are continuing on building. So we are capping off the ceiling here for the rib vault in the caldarium. And then the same thing inside of the frigidarium. And then of course in the laconium here, we already looked at that. So now we need to go down the middle of the building and take a look at the roof detailing on uh, these middle sections here. These uh, these messy middle sections. Here, so let's take a look now first facing uh, outward toward the Frigidarium. Right there, that section here. And this section here in between the Caldarium and the Frigidarium. And now facing back here towards the tepidarium here. That's the first little section here. And then this middle valley section. All right. Uh, so we've come to a milestone now. We've, we've finished the interior spaces of our bathhouse. Let's get a little altitude to appreciate that. So, at long last, we have capped off all of the interior rooms, and now for the rest of the tutorial, we're going to be doing all of the, uh, the, the fiddly and complicated and, and, me and messy roof tiling, really. That's all we've got left to do. You can kind of see what we've got in store for ourselves. But once we get past, I think, uh, this phase and the next one, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing after that. So, so we are definitely in the home stretch uh, at this point. All right, so now all I've got is just some exterior things and the roof tiling. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's much point in scanning around the building anymore. We're just going to have to take a look at uh, all the roof tiling now, actually. You can kind of see where the roof tiling pattern is going here on the front. It's pretty simple. Just continue on your pattern. If you have any air blocks behind the red other brick, just fill it in with some cobble or at least put down some torches. Don't want anything spawning. So that's the roof over the uh, apodeterium. Here's the roof section over the laconium. And both the detailing for the front pediments on these, well, kind of pseudo pediments here. We don't actually have a cornice on this uh, building. Uh, because we haven't, uh, we haven't festooned the, um, the bathhouse with uh, with anything. In fact, I don't think there's not um, there's not a single Corinthian column in this building. Well, I mean, there's there's probably some Corinthian pilasters that could be added to the building, but otherwise, it's it's pretty much uh, your standard bathhouse type architecture. Which uh, in imperial bathhouses you would have the Corinthian pilasters, but this is more of a more of an inter intermediate uh, bathhouse. Uh, Let's see, so let's take a look here at the roof section, a quarter of the roof section here over the Frigidarium. Facing inwards toward the Frigidarium there. And I can see that I have not left, well, I've left a little bit of space here, but I'm pretty sure underneath here, if I break a couple of these blocks, yeah. Okay, there, there's no space to put water here which is going to be a problem for using the tube coral on the ceiling. Let's just, we're going to have to make a change on that. So, uh, it, while it would look nice, I think um, it's not going to work. Uh, what we need to do is we need to make a block substitution. We, we need to put some something blue up there and something we've already used. So the, the easiest thing to do would be to replace all that with more lapis. Uh, well, actually, that's kind of expensive. The, the, actually, the easiest thing to do would be to replace it with these blue glazed terracotta uh, that we have on the floor for our mosaic, uh, but just put that up there in the rib vault. I think that would look quite nice if we did that. 
Uh, yeah, I think uh, that that's the recommended change I would go with to correct my my little design flaw with that. I totally forgot about accounting for the water for that when I was putting on the roof. Whoops. Uh, but you can fix that. That's not that's not too big of a change. You're just uh, changing a block material, not any of how it's placed. All right, now here we've got the roof valley, a quarter of it over the caldarium. And the same sort of detailing that we have all along the front on top of uh, all these little arched windows on the side. And here is the back detailing for this quarter of the roof valley and also for the roof over the apse. You can use all of the cobblestone uh, ridge dividers here I've used on the roof to kind of help you uh, divide and conquer the sections of the roof. In other words, you can build the cobble first and then fill in that with the roof tiles. All right, here's the valley between the apses. And another apse here. Uh, both of these uh, uh, apse roofs are exactly the same, by the way. So once you build one of them, do you want to build the other one exactly the same? And here's the valley back here over the tepidarium. The central valley over the tepidarium here on the side. And the front valley here. It's got a little bit of an awkward uh, transition there with the with the roof coming in from the um, uh, apodytarium. And then we already took a look at the roof over the apodytarium, so now we need to take a look at these messy central sections here. So first, let's take a look. We're going to divide the building right down the central ridge line here. And we're going to take a look now facing uh, from the inside out over this quarter of the Frigidarium. And this second quarter of the Frigidarium. And this first quarter here of the Caldarium. And we already took, at the, uh, took a look at that here, so now let's go back to the front. Take a look now facing outward over the Tepidarium here. And then the last section here, the central valley over the tepidarium facing outwards. All right, so let's get a little bit of altitude on that. I don't know if this is going to be particularly useful. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that, that's the insanity of doing, doing roofs on bathhouses. And this is just a medium-sized bathhouse. I mean, just think how... Just imagine how terrible the, the Imperial bathhouse will do whenever I've, uh, I mean, I'm not promising I'll build one of those, but if I did, it's going to, you know, it's going to be this, just just up to the next level. Uh, but the good news, though, we're starting to cap off everything now. Let's take a look now here at the front. See, that's us coming to a nice pointy conclusion right there. And then you can see, just extend up all the patterns over the apodaterium, and they're going to meet like that. It's like that there. And then the same sort of deal over the Laconium over here. It's like that. Now let's uh, scan around the exterior here. So I'm just going to take a look at one of these. Just like so. Wherever you have one of the arch windows, it's going to finish off exactly like the, the same for that one there, 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 and there. Uh, now let's take a look, I think, uh, from the top. We can see if we use our cobblestone as a guide here. We can see these little uh, these little X's. They're right on top of the rib, uh, the rib vaulting we have below. And you can kind of see you're just extending up all the pattern. Just like so there. You should be able to use all the uh, roof tiling you've already put down and just extend the patterns up and over. Just like that there. Let's take a look at that again. More from a diagonal view, though. Uh, 
now along the back, along the apses here and the valley between them. Now the valley over the tepidarium and this front little valley here and the awkward wall that it's attached to. All right, now let's take a look here uh, facing outward, uh, starting in the middle here along this little line that divides the building. Just like so. Facing outward over the frigidarium. And then now this section over the caldarium. And then turning around, coming back to the front, facing outwards over the tepidarium now. Here. And you can see we've got these awkward dividing walls here, just because, you know, the, the way the vaulting's laid out and the rooms below uh, sort of dictated the roof shape. Which is one of the reasons I let this thing sit around for like two years before I felt like putting the roof on it. You can understand why, I think, now that now that you've, you know, built one for yourself. You can kind of say, well, yeah, I, could, I, I really understand why Tridar didn't finish this building for that long. Uh, so, uh, over here, we now, uh, we've done all the difficult roof tiling. And now what we're doing is we're putting on uh, the final ridges on top of that. And then we're going to put on some decorative uh, finials to finish off the building with, of course, the usual decorative touches I do on the tops with a bit of dye right here. And indeed, you can go ahead and finish those off. Every time you see one of these two blocks, you can go ahead and put another two blocks like that. And then one right there to cap that off. Right here at the front. So you can see we're putting on just a nice, pleasing uh, cobblestone half slab bridge line. Just right on top of our roof vaulting. And then we're doing a little diagonal here. Finishing off that there. Putting on a big cap right there. And then a little diagonal over here, another finial. Going back this way, continuing the ridge vault along the tepidarium. Another cap there, another projection over here, another finial. Then back over here, we are half slab bridge line to cap off the, uh, the, the slanted roofs over the apses. And then turning 90 degrees, going straight across here. Connecting to the central section of the caldarium. Another little projection over here for the half dome. Turning 90 degrees back over here, we've got another little decorative finial. And then continuing back over here, we've got the, the ridge line going just straight here. To this section here over the, um, the, um, uh, frigidarium right there. And, oh. There's a block missing. Looks like I, I missed a block in the roof. We can't have that. Uh, that's just the one extra block of red in the brick. It should be right there. Any other blocks missing? Nope. Looks like did you, I just missed that one. No, there's, there's always that one random block missing. Uh, I, probably, I didn't notice that on the last phase either. Well, we can fix it on this one. And right here, you can, you can, you can see what we're doing, which is connecting the roofs with the ridge line. Right there with the cobblestone half slabs, I think it'd be uh, easiest if I just show you this from the top down. So you can see basically this phase, we're just taking the last one, and on top of all that red of the brick, you can see that we do want to just connect it. Cross all the top there with the cobblestone half slabs, and then we've got these uh, six decorative finials with the die right that we're placing down on top of those. And then, like I said, uh, that's the roof finished. Now we're doing the decorative finials. Extend all those up by two blocks. And then you want to place, uh, what, six last blocks of diorite right, right there along all these decorative finials. And then once you have done that, your large and luxurious Roman bathhouse will be complete.